everyone, my name is Kinsey and it is my pleasure to be introducing you to this year's 2021 Nelly Talks. What is Nelly Talks? Nelly Talks is a virtual video series made to empower young women by having strong, independent, and impactful female speakers from all different kinds of backgrounds speak about their careers and experiences. This event is hosted by the Nelly McClung All Girls Junior High Program at Oliver School. This All Girls Program is a junior high that focuses on the empowerment and development of young women and establishing leadership skills in those attending the school. This year marks the 25th anniversary of the Nellie McClung program, and we want to celebrate this milestone with some special alumni speakers. For the past several years, Nellie students have been organizing and facilitating our annual Power of Women event, or POW. At this large in-person event, speakers and students had the opportunity to interact in person. Unfortunately, due to the fact of the COVID-19 virus, we are unable to hold this uplifting and inspiring event in person. However, we believe this event will still be motivational and an eye-opening experience for all those watching. We are honored and thankful to have the, had this opportunity to prepare and host this event and are proud to say that this event has been primarily created by the Nellie McClung students. However, we would not be able to bring this vision to life without the help from our teachers, staff, and the Nellie L. McClung Educational Society who helped make this event possible. Without further ado, we would like to present our first speaker in our very first Nellie Talks event. Hi everyone, I want to start by extending a huge thanks to um, you, the students of Nellie McClung School, for inviting me to be part of Nellie Talks. I think it's such a creative and innovative way to keep the momentum up of something that's been going on for a long time at Nellie McClung, which is the Power of Women Conference. I also want to take a minute to recognize that although we're meeting in this virtual way, we're still very much all connected and on Treaty 6 or Miskwichi Waskahegan territory. Right now, I serve and I'm incredibly proud to serve as chair of the Edmonton Public School Board as well as trustee for Oliver School. I was elected in 2017, the same time that you uh, or your parents go to the polls to elect our mayor and city councillor. Uh, you also have an opportunity to elect your school board trustee. And it truly is a great honor to represent families and students um, and parents and their interests in public education, a topic that I'm super passionate about. So I decided to run for the position of school board trustee after working as a journalist for a long time with CBC Radio and CBC Television and online. And it was a great job. It was a fabulous way to tell the stories of Canadians to Canadians and working in stations across the country. I also spent a year working um, for Journalists for Human Rights uh, in a radio station in West Africa and Ghana, which is where I got this awesome, um, or I think it's awesome, painting behind me of um, women in West Africa. Uh, I'll be honest though, as much as I love being a journalist, I hit a point in my career where I wanted more. I had opinions and I had ideas in the ways I thought things could be different or could be better. And as a journalist, you really have to work hard um, as a journalist, as an ethical journalist, to be fair and balanced in how you report the news. And I'll be honest, I, I sometimes found it frustrating and felt that my voice and my skills would be better served in a position of public office. And so, unlike journalism, being an elected official, you really do have the power to make change. Instead of just talking about it, I wanted to be part of it. So I took a risk, I put myself out there, I'm really glad I did. As I said, the job of trustee has been incredibly rewarding. It also has its challenges though, and I would say, you know, being in a position of public office um, does come with a fair bit of scrutiny, but I would argue that being a woman in a position of elected office, you're put in situations that I, I don't think male candidates are, and I wanna, I wanna share a story that I think highlights that. So when you are campaigning or you're trying to get someone to vote for you, what you do is you go, there's lots of different ways you can do it, but you can go and knock on people's doors. You can canvas, you can solicit their vote, you can encourage them to vote for you by sharing your ideas. So this one night I was out knocking on doors in Alberta Avenue, which is a community in my, in my ward, and I'd just gone for a run and I knocked on this guy's door and I'm super excited to talk to him about why he should vote for me. And he says, hey, I know you, except you look nothing. Like the picture in your brochure, I mean, you're hot here, but look at you now. 
and I took a moment and it was one of those moments where sometimes you have the right words on the end of your tongue and this is one of those moments for me because I looked at this gentleman and I saw that he had just finished dinner and he slapped all sorts of spaghetti sauce down the front of his sweater and I said with all due respect sir you don't look so hot yourself right now either anyways I don't know if he voted for me my point is is that sort of comment um, isn't wasn't easy as a woman out there campaigning for office the first time other questions I sometimes got was well who's gonna take care of your kids who gets if you get elected or what does my husband do and I would say that these are questions our candidates male candidates would never face on the doorstep so my advice to you is to take a risk to be bold take a chance if you feel that sometimes queasy feeling in your stomach when you're doing something perhaps that you're not sure about follow that feeling I think when you feel that feeling in your stomach or butterflies it's sometimes called it means that you're taking a risk you're being vulnerable you're putting yourself out there you're learning you're pushing yourself in a new direction you're growing perhaps you're being part of something that's bigger than you and I think that's a good thing so be proud be you take a risk and be proud of you thanks again so much for inviting me to be part of Nelly talks Thank <laughs> you.